Mike Tyson. In order to be good, you have to lose it and understand loss. Because loss is life. I think of competition as people um, reaching their highest potential when competition comes. Competition is always good because it helps you not to give in under the slightest struggle in life. Life is going to give everybody a bad hand. No one's going to leave here without being tried in life. Wow. And you have to be, you know, you're going to have to take it. Adversity make the strong stronger or the weak weaker. People got to be accounted. That's what competition is all about. Everybody in their family know who's the strongest one in the family, who's the matriarch. Even if they're older, they can kick his ass, they know he's the boss or she's the boss. That doesn't have nothing to do with strength and being big. They know who the boss is. They know who can run the house. They know who the yes no. Yes no, the boss, he distinguished himself or she distinguished himself out of all of us. That's why we know they're the boss. Cuss knows when to put the gas on and when to put the brakes on. You know, that's what a teacher does. He's a teacher. We all, we all teach everyone. All of us teach everyone. We're all teachers and students. This world is one big school, and we're the students of this world. And that's with the competition shit. Why should he have it? He's not better than you. He said, man, you're fighting good, but I wish you were bigger. And that hurt my feelings. I said, I make sure the whole world will be afraid of me. It's cool that people are seekers. I think that's very interesting that we're seekers. But we have to believe that we're divine and that we learn from our experience. Because confidence breeds success and success breeds confidence. They go hand in hand. You can't accomplish anything unless you say, oh, I'm a prick, I could never do that. I'm not born to do that. Only certain people, only white people could do that. I can't do that. There's nothing I can't do. But just the mindset of wanting to be the best. What is the mindset you can transfer to somebody being the best? I just want to find out the first guy that really, really succeeded on this shit, probably 1900 or something like that. Even if he was a crook. Let's go from there and go from all the way there and read all the way till you get to you. Okay? So one study history. Yeah, study, study it till it gets to you. And then you realize those people were just you in funny clothes. You read everything they did, now you practice it. Now let's see what this shit really works. <laughs> I hate the whole aspect of the warrior mentality and the, the duration of it. That's probably the main part, the length of how long you have to go through that, um, that psychological warfare. Mm -hmm. and it, takes, it takes tolls on people. Yeah. That kind of stuff. It's just, it's, it's just really rigid. If you become the best, you have to almost become fanatical. You know, this is my life. This is all I live for. This is my air. This is everything. Yeah, when you, I guess most athletes feel that way. Yeah. Uh, they have one of those old time trainers in there, have that particular type of method of training. Yeah. It just becomes your life. So you could do this in your sleep because it's so regimented. Sometimes it's hard to accept who you are. You know, sometimes I see young kids out here and um, they commit side and they don't like who they are and they're in prison and it's it's really difficult you know to accept who you are in this world because really we don't know but then in order to have friends you, be, you have to be put in this particular kind of i don't know you have to be labeled so to speak you know so we don't know who we are right. until we get i guess to a certain degree of evolution it's just that Dedicating and sacrificing your life to be in a particular way you want to be able to, like you want to conduct it. Say you want to be like Tony Robbins. You, you get all the information you can about Tony Robbins and you conduct it. This is how I want to live my life. This is almost like, um, um, this is your manuscript. This is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And, um, I'm going to live like Tony. I'm, I'm not going to be Tony Robbins, but I'm going to live it. I'm going to conduct myself like Tony Robbins. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta live it, you gotta breathe it, you yeah, gotta so you gotta, it. And you have to be that before you actually become the person. Interesting. You're not gonna become the person over there. Like, you think you're prepared to be Tony Robbins right now? Right to now. Tomorrow you're Tony Robbins. <laughs> you didn't know. It's gonna take time, so I'm gonna become this guy. You know, I'm gonna be this guy before, because you're not ready. But when time comes, you're gonna be ready. You're gonna be Tony Robbins. This is my life. I'm accustomed to this. Of course I got this role. Of course I got this job. Of course I got this ready. I'm prepared for it. You wouldn't even be surprised. Everything changes when my classes change. You know, I never understood um, my struggle. You know, I, I had everything I wanted, but still I was, I was fighting the light. Mm. My dark spirit was still fighting the light. That was my struggle. You couldn't, I couldn't get anything done. What's the question you wish you could have answered? Who am I? Why is my purpose here? Yeah. 
Like I say, my purpose is to be the best person I could possibly be before I die. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That could be my purpose in life. See how far we can go in life before we die. Yeah. You know? But suppose um, people don't think in that perspective. Yeah. That's what LL Cool J told me, because I'm talking some, I think I'm talking some glamorous shit. I'm talking some fly <laughs> shit. And he was telling me on mic, you know, um, there's some people that live in the outskirts of fucking Ohio somewhere. And, they just live simple lives, and that's all they want to do, Mike. Enjoy their this life. This shit we talking about don't mean nothing, Nothing. Mike. They just ready to die, and ready to meet God, taking care of the kids, the people they love. Go may go on a vacation. May never go on a vacation. Or leave the town, but this is just a simple life. This is what makes them happy. Yeah. And they're really, con you know, I come into place, if you're nothing, if you're something, you're nothing. Mm hmm you know, isn't that so fucking shallow? Isn't that something? You know, what's my definition of something? Mm -hmm. Somebody with a uh, fucking lot of money in their pocket? I have no fucking concept of uh, humanity. It's what life is. It's trying to figure shit out. You have to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. I know my demons, and I realize in life, everybody's going to really find them out eventually. You think you got to hide that shit. It doesn't work that way. Mm. So you just started to forgive yourself on things, or Pretty much, it's happening yeah. every day, yeah. or you know, it all comes around, yeah. Wow. I'm not gonna. Hey, Mike, fuck the other shit you did. It's cool, man. God love you. That's right. bullshit. I don't function. I don't think that. I don't think God leave you to figure it out. You do it on yourself. Is it cool? It's cool. If it's not, it's not. You figure it out. It's hard to be kind when you're trying to be the best at the same time, too, huh? Yeah, but that's the part of discipline. Discipline is separating the two. You know, you have to do what you hate to do, but do it like you absolutely love it with vigor and do the mm -hmm. If I had more time, I could be even better mm -hmm. than what I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if, um, if I had more time, I could probably um, right through all the wrongs that I did. Mm -hmm. And if I had more time, I could love spending the time with my kids, my yeah. grandkids. Uh, those are yeah. great. I'm just gonna always um, try hard and see what's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Cause, I, Cause listen, I've been worse than this. I've been in a worse situation than I've ever been in. Why you, and I didn't give up then, why am I gonna give up now? And I'm like at the it. height of my life now. How am I gonna give up? I love what it, the hell am I doing? I love this it, is a dream right now.